to be out there. That was my first time ever doing Race for the Cure, and I was so impressed by the outfits people came up with, all kinds of combinations, and so many people out there, and the weather was absolutely perfect. It was a little chilly at the start, but then uh, those temperatures climbed quickly. Didn't even really have that fog yesterday morning. High temperatures got back up to 78 degrees here in Eugene. The warmest spot in the state, that was Roseburg. You got up to 81. We saw those mid-70s all the way over into Central and Eastern Oregon. Also seeing 70s out at the Oregon coast yesterday from Astoria all the way through Brookings, North Bend. You got up to 73 yesterday. Not bad. Now that high temperature that we did see here in Eugene of 78, that's nine above average for this time of year. Typically, we're only in the upper 60s. The record, not too far above where we were, 86, and that was set back in 1987. Didn't see any rainfall, didn't even see any cloud cover yesterday. That deficit sitting in about 10 and a quarter inches below average for this point in 2013, which is a lot better off than we were in August. We made up a lot of ground in September. And we are going to add to those rainfall buckets today. We're seeing scattered showers here across Western Oregon. Cold front moved through overnight. We're seeing those clouds pushing all the way over into Eastern Oregon at this hour. And those showers are going to continue off and on here all the way through this evening. It's not a ton of rainfall. It's not that big a storm, but uh, just such a contrast to yesterday. The Eugene Airport is reporting light rain this morning. Temperature and dew point both at 52 degrees. Visibility is uh, being reduced by the combination of those low clouds and the rain showers this morning. Now down to about two and a half miles. Hourly precipitation about 207 inch already this morning. And again, there is more to come as that storm makes its way across the state today. Tomorrow we'll see that area of low pressure make its way down from the north. And as it does, that'll bring in another round of scattered showers. But then that storm is going to move on to the east. High pressure moves in here for Wednesday and Thursday and that will dry us out. So you can see here on um, precision cast looking into the future. The showers, they're light, they're scattered. That means off and on with some sun breaks, uh, even lighter as we head into this afternoon and evening. Tuesday, we see that area of low pressure make its way down from the north. That will bring back another round of rain here to Western Oregon. And if you watch over the Cascades, you'll start to see some blue as those showers pass overhead. Freezing level drops down to about 4,000 feet here by Tuesday morning. Otherwise, we do dry out Wednesday and we stay that way through Thursday, possibly even into Friday as well. So for those of you along the coast today, high temperatures quite a bit cooler uh, than yesterday, down into the upper 50s and low 60s, a little bit more typical for this time of year. Those scattered showers continuing off and on. Again, not a ton of rain falling, some nice sun breaks in between showers. Winds will be from the northwest at 5 to 15. Another day uh, to try and capture a rainbow. 59 degrees on Tuesday, those showers continuing. Then we dry out Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, but before we see a few more showers popping up here on Friday. The Umpqua Basin dropped about 15 degrees from where you were yesterday. Mid 60s, isolated light showers for you along with light winds. Low 60s for Wednesday uh, into Thursday. Morning fog, afternoon sunshine, and it looks like you guys will stay dry through the weekend. The Cascades seeing just rain showers this morning, rain snow mix this afternoon. Then I do expect that to change over to snow late tonight. That snow level will eventually get down to about 4,000 feet here by Tuesday morning. Central Oregon, upper 50s and low 60s for you. Isolated showers off and on today. Could see a little bit of snow mixed with these showers by Tuesday night as those overnight lows will drop down into the low 30s. And for the Valley, highs will be in the low 60s. Scattered showers off and on today. Sun breaks this afternoon. We will see another round moving in Tuesday night, high of just 60, and then chilly Tuesday night down to 37 degrees. So Wednesday morning will be foggy and chilly. Otherwise dry, though, through Thursday, those highs will be in the low 60s. And we do see another round of showers moving in on Friday.